In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use XCarryJaw this virtual collaborative whiteboard type web application to create your own simple hand-drawn style diagrams, illustrations, or flowchart. You don't have to sign up. The most important part is completely free, and you also can make it self-hosted using Docker. This is the GitHub website. So you can see all features and how to install. The most important part, we're going to use in this one line doc command. So only downside for self-hosted website is you cannot share or collaborate with your friend. But you will be able to get your own domain to run this XCarryJaw program on your own domain. Also, I'm going to introduce a fantastic repository from GitHub to animate your XCarryJaw diagrams. So that's the most exciting part for me. I am trying this feature to make my diagrams more interesting when I show it to my friends or my co-workers. I'm going to use in render. If you don't have your own VPS, so you can use in render to provide your free web service to hosting this web application for yourself. Now, let's start it. Before we start to build our own XCarryJaw app, so I want to show you this command. If you watched my previous video, you can test this docker run command from play with docker at website but that's very simple to do so i'm gonna skip that and directly go into use render to deploy this web application for ourselves so render provide individual plan for hobbyist student or in the hackers to use which allows you to deploy the web service or static site with some limitations it is free of charges and there's a guide to show you how to deploy it. So now let's jump into the website and start to deploy this web application. To use this free web services provided by Render, you do need an account for it. Just follow the regular registration process, get an account, while you are creating these new web services, it will ask you for the credit card information. Just keep that in mind. You do need to provide the valid credit card information, but it doesn't mean they're going to charge you. Since you are using free service, they won't charge you until you out of the free service from Render. So click New Web Services here. So you're going to deploy from an existing image from a registry. So that's the one we're going to choose. There's some advanced option you can select it. But we will keep it as simple as we can. So for the image URL, you should be able to get it from XCarryJaw.hub website. So here is the latest image. We're going to copy, paste it in. The system is going to validate this image URL. You don't need to provide in those optional credential settings. Just go to the next step. So you need to give a name. I will just put XCarryJaw region. And don't forget, select this free service. Keep that in mind. Free instance will spin down after periods of inactivity. And also there's uh, limitations for access, scaling, one off jobs or persistent disk loads won't be supported since it's free but for us for this specific project we are working on we don't need loads at all just select free for the environment variables you don't need to worry about at all nothing need to be changed for those secret file health check pass doc command pre-deploy command nothing we will need it we will keep as simple as we can just check free and then create web services now it is creating our services it may take a couple minutes two three minutes so we will pause the video recording now i will come back once it's done 
It is still showing in the progress deploying the services. Uh, actually, it has been done. So sometimes it doesn't reflect in the real deployment process. So we can see this URL already been generated for us. We can copy it and we can test it. So right now you can see it's already running on our service, which is a subdomain randomly assigned by render. So you can see this 5TL2. So we don't like this. We will convert it to our own domain in the next step. But actually you will see this is looks very similar as we have here now. So basically we already deployed it. So next step, we're going to use our domain for it. To get our own custom domain for this application on render, it's very simple. Just go to the settings on your application, this custom domain. You just need to add this custom domain. So what I'm going to do is control.51sec.org. I'm going to use in this to make it very simple to remember. Um, we need to create the C name for your point into this. Let's copy that. So I'm using Cloudflare. If you watch my previous video, you know I've been using this for many projects already. So for this one, we just need to add C name, Joe, and then put target here. Save it. And we go back to our settings. Verify. We need a couple of minutes. I'm going to pause the video and wait a bit and try again. So now let's try again. DNS record. It's verified and also certificate also being issued. So right now we can use this URL to access our Xcarry draw. It's perfect for this project self-hosted on your own domain. Our next step is to try animation. So we want to do something like this, get it uh, animated for our diagram. I'm having this basic Azure Cloud diagram created. Um, I'm gonna save it to the current file, so which is um, Azure Cloud X Carriage file. Let's save the changes. Now, to animate this diagram, we're gonna using this repository from DIC. Uh, GitHub website and uh, you will see it's created and they do have a website for it so we can directly use in this website to generate this animated diagram so let's load file Perfect. So it is working. So we load the file and then you can see the whole thing has been animated. Um, there's a problem for this application. When you're trying to export it, it won't work properly. Even I tried a couple of times, prepare web and this format. It seems working, but actually it doesn't work exactly as I thought. In that way, I have to use a third-party program to do it. Not only we need this website to animate it, also we need to have a program to capture it as a GIF file. Since the prepare web and list function not working properly, even in the website, it also shows exporting web and feature is not perfect. Please use a screen capture. That doesn't work as expected. Anyway, so we're gonna use in this screen to GIF this program. There's a portable version. You can download it. Once you download it, you should be able to get this almost 200 meg file, one single file on the extracted folder. Double click to run it. 
and you can see this very simple four buttons uh, window just uh, click on a recorder so then it will, sh it will show you a frame to see um, what you want to record it on your screen for our case so we want to record it this and this here so it's covered almost everything here and also we can include in that sec this and there is uh, some shortcut we can do we can we're gonna click recording and then right away we're gonna press r to let this animation to play and then we can record it so let's try to record it and then do r Stop. Now you can see we already recorded, but there is lots of duplication here, so we might need to remove some of them. For example, at the beginning from here, we most probably we don't need that first, so we can remove those 87 frames. And also for other frames, there's uh, about uh, another 360 three frame we're gonna remove some duplicate to do that go to the edit button remove duplicate here so there's some settings you need to modify um, that similarity you need to set very high uh, because uh, this is diagram so if you don't set very high most of them um, won't be removed so I set a 99.99 .99 to remove some duplicate let's try that apply you can see the yeah, analyzing duplication now you will get a result how many been removed if you're not happy with this removing then you can try try again remove duplicate just reduce the similarity so I'm going to put 99.9 .9 and see how it goes because that will greatly reduce your zip file size so we got a pretty good result we almost removed a half i think that's already good enough and we can test it as well let's play back that's pretty cool fast and good enough here so let's save it save as just put on desktop, we gave a name, animation tool. One hundred home oh, less than two hundred KB for this file. It's perfect for us. Yes, let's quit from there. So now we can see this file. It's a one hundred eighty six K file, just open it. So that's the whole video I showing you how to create your own Xcarry Draw web application and how to animate it using this Xcarry Draw dash animate project from GitHub. I hope you like it. If you found this video has useful information, give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. That will give me great support. See you in my next video.